Good evening. Detectives say they now know who pulled the trigger in a triple shooting that left two people dead. That man is on the run tonight. News 13's Ian Schwartz is live downtown. Diane, it's been two and a half weeks since two brothers were found murdered in their Albuquerque home. The murderer also thought he had killed the only witness. He was wrong. A small vigil still sits at the home near Mountain and Broadway where Cedric Boykins and his younger brother Tevion King were shot to death. Boykins' girlfriend Michelle Valera was shot over and over again but somehow survived. Today, police named the suspected killer 22-year-old Justin Johnson, and he's still on the loose. He shot at all three of them, um, probably believing that he killed all three of them. There was a drug transaction that had taken place. It went bad. And, the, and thus the shooting occurred. Police aren't saying who was doing the buying or selling. According to a criminal complaint, Michelle Valero heard Johnson shoot her boyfriend, then gun down her boyfriend's 17-year-old brother. She says she curled up in a ball and hid under a table before Johnson shot her five times. She managed to call 911, but then she was in critical condition at UNM Hospital, unable to speak with the police officer guarding her. When she came to, police asked her if the killer's nickname was Texas. She nodded yes and then used her fingers to tell police the killer's cell phone number. Investigators used his phone records to ID him. He is considered armed and dangerous. He did uh, shoot three people, uh, so obviously he has a firearm. As you can tell by Justin Johnson's nickname, he is from Texas. Police say he may be heading there or hiding there. Back to you. Okay, Ian. Now, Justin Johnson's last known address was near Tramway and Copper in Albuquerque. We checked his criminal record. He has a few arrests for dealing drugs and assault.